In this lab, you are going to bounce a mass up and down on a spring like you see here and measure everything you need to calculate the gravitational potential energy, elastic potential energy, and kinetic energy. The total, of course, should be the same at each point. First, you'll need the spring constant using Hooke's law. You measure two different forces, two different displacements. So stretch it a little bit, find a force in displacement. Stretch it a whole lot more, find a force in displacement. Then using the differences between the forces and the displacements, calculate the spring constant. Now you'll want to set it into motion. Easiest, best way to do it is to start at the equilibrium position, the middle position where it really isn't moving. Lift it up and release it. It should be oscillating just straight up and down. And to make it easy on yourself, you can lift it to a predetermined position and then allow it to fall. Using the bottom of your mass as a reference point, you will need the equilibrium position, the middle, the top position that you have predetermined, and as it's moving, you will measure the bottom position. And don't forget to get that unstretched position. Then use the lab quest to find the maximum speed at that middle point of the bouncing spring. One really good way to organize all your data is a chart like this with the unstretched top, middle, and bottom positions. Remember while doing your calculations that the elastic potential energy is measured from the unstretched position and the gravitational potential energy is measured from the bottommost position. Once you have all the data, you can show the calculations and the values for the different types of energy at the top, middle, and bottom. Remember, the total should be the same. Organize everything, put it all on the computer, write it up as a complete lab report, then give it to me.